Hey guys, welcome back to our day. We are starting a new day and I have a couple projects to do. One of them I have to kind of keep secret from Jason. So this is what I'm gonna do. I picked up a Tupperware for my wrapping paper. Don't tell Jason. He hates it when I buy Tupperware because clearly I have <laughs> a lot of them. So it's in my car right now. I have to get it out of my car, get the wrapping paper into it and put it back on the shelf before he realizes. So, Chelsea, Ashley, you already did some of your yeah, cobwebs. cobwebs. She's waiting for Chelsea to finish her cobwebs. I'm going to go work on a, a project outside really quick. Actually, I'm going to bring it in. You want to bring on the vacuum? You need the vacuum again? No, I need the vacuum on my air intake. Okay, we'll get the vacuum and bring it to right here, Ash. So, wait, where's my car? Out on the street. Oh. Where other people park their cars. Oh, other people not as privileged as me? What? Yeah. <laughs> just so you know, Jason's in a snarky mood this morning. So, just be forewarned. We're already snarky with each other. It's not morning anymore. It's actually afternoon. 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 Right? Now I have to go to my car and get something out of it. It's such a pretty day, huh, Ash? I got this at Target, but... Now I can't really keep it a secret from Jason because he's in the garage. I can't walk. Do you think we can get this by Daddy? No. I think it's too you big. You go for the front, go for the front, and then go and then put it in your guys' room. But then I have to get the one out of the garage. Okay, you go distract him. You're my distraction. Okay. So we threw out the other bin so we can buy more bins. Can you pull down the other bin for me and you find out what's wrong with the other bin? Yes, the other bin is broken. Can you get the other bin down and show the folks so I can transfer? Which one? The one that's gonna, you know which one. Right here? Yes. And the Christmas one, I, I think. I'm gonna see how it's room. Okay, that's all broken, it's falling apart. All right, so here's what's in this bin. As you saw, the lid is all cracked and then this whole corner is cracking cracking off so that the lid won't stay on and then I pull it off and then everything falls out so I got this bin I'm gonna try and see if it fits on a shelf better I don't know but this has to get organized now see what we can get rid of the balloons they found this bucket is empty take this out to dad ah. tell him to destroy that if you would like take it out to dad take it out to dad go put it in the garage then just take it outside all right so we have no it's garbage the numbers five and zero for when someone in the family turns 50 first okay so then in here we've got gift bags I never have bags for boys for boy birthday parties, so I got a whole pack of them. <laughs> I'm filming here. A little That's why sneak. I need it. Take that to the garage. You're dumping it all over my freshly vacuumed floor. Oh. <laughs> you wonder why I have to vacuum every day. No, it's because Ashley landed a bunch of messes. Okay. All right, so we've got gift bags, and yeah. I wish I had more of these guys. I think I've lost some of these ones and then just a plain white one down there and then this is all tissue paper I stock up on tissue paper at the end of holidays and then I have one bow left over from this Hawaiian theme and then along the whole side here is wrapping paper and then I've kind of got this little mess right here to kind of deal with all right I think I'm doing pretty good here I've got some little miscellaneous stuff into a bag right here I have some Easter bags in there, as well as some empty 
little bags that we use for the sanitizers for church. There's like three of them in there. And then I have my garland for birthdays and my light up birthday garland in there. And I think there's a few other little, oh, there are little blow up balloons. I have a couple random numbers in there. And then I put all my little Hawaiian signs. I think we did a birthday party for Abby with this little luau decor. So I put all of that into a bag and then I've got all of my tissue papers stacked up here. I might actually put these loose ones into another bag like this because they always get kind of ruffled around. But then I've got plain white tissue paper and then I've got all of these ones to use for like boys or like miscellaneous stuffing, you know, that kind of stuff. And then along the whole side here, I've got wrapping paper and I think I have room. I might try and see if I can get some Christmas and put this stuff over here. I might try and get my Christmas wrapping paper from the garage and see if it'll fit in here as well. So I bought this bag on Amazon at the end of the season last year. And I just think it's making the wrapping paper kind of get demolished inside. And it's hard to pull down. No, get on your call. Anyway, let's see what this looks like in here. So unfortunately, <laughs> We are too long for all the Christmas wrapping paper except for one. So, whoops. Normally I would just leave this one in there, but since all their other ones are Christmas wrapping paper, I'm just gonna put them all back in this bag for now. But it's good though that they're still wrapped up. They're still sealed in the plastic wrap. Um, and then I've taped up these guys. They're just like, plastic table covers in white and then in purple. And then I'll leave this one in here. This is actually like locker um, wallpaper. And then I have this guy here that is like just coloring paper that kids can play with, color on. And then I have a plain white roll. I should tape that one up. This is just for like, it's like butcher paper. So it's just for coloring and whatnot. All right, it's all done. I've got tissue paper in a baggie. I found another number five up in a bucket in my pantry when I was putting away some forks and knives that I found in here. And then tissue paper down there. So I added this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. I actually added more than I thought. These ones are good. The kids use these all the time. So I've got my bin all done and now I need to put my lid on it and put it back out into the garage all right kids are all done with school we watched a movie and then we just returned them all it was that movie called what is it called again Chase that movie we just watched dream the dream what what was that movie we just watched uh... anyway it was definitely a Hallmark movie. But we are back at Target. Oh, Secret. Secret. Oh, the Dream, secret. Dream Big or... I don't know what it is. I don't love something. But uh, we're basically taking back all of Jason's birthday presents. <laughs> I already got them. I didn't know you had all of them. It's fine, I know. Did yeah. I buy them all like one at a time? I understand when you have to get presents like the day of and you're in a rush, it's harder. He told me he wouldn't <laughs> hold this over my head and yet he continues. Wait. You opened that one. I didn't open it. Who opened it? We'll see if it's Oh no, it's not open inside. Yeah. No, we're fine. This outside part wasn't. It's fine. So we're gonna return those and you decided on a movie that you wanted to exchange. I actually look, I have footage of it. <laughs> it's fine. We'll it go is find I was going to get it, but I didn't want to text him because I didn't want it to be that obvious that I was thinking of getting that. The Harry Potter thing was totally like viable because lock it. I will because Chelsea watches it so I was uh, gonna it get it, you saw it. it. You, I, when you were telling me you had to go to Target on your own I kind of knew what you were doing I like to go to Target on my own all the time dude okay there's cars yeah, watching us not right after you said oh crap I forgot your birthday <laughs> I know okay <laughs> It is 
bedtime already. Let me turn on some lights. I have better light in here. Day kind of escaped me. I am finishing up books for book club and I'm listening to them on my phone and I don't know, I get editing. I edited a, a video this morning and then had to edit the, the thumbnail for it. Just kind of got caught up doing that and listening to my book. I'm listening to The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. She wrote the books that were turned into movies um, and it's totally different <laughs> than those books. Like I've read that whole series, but it's nothing like it. So I have like five minutes left in The Giver of Stars. And then I also just read America's First Daughter about Thomas Jefferson's daughter. And that one was fascinating. That one was so good. We are reading both of those books for book club this month. We've kind of, we don't ever do it in the summertime, but I think we missed June and then we missed September's book club. And so we're kind of doing a dual makeup session in here in October in a couple weeks. And America's First Daughter is long. I think it had 22 chapters, but each chapter, or 22 sections in the audiobook. And I think each section had, well, my friend said there was 24 hours of audio. It took me a couple weeks to finish it, but it was it's really good. I highly recommend it um, if you live in the US and if you want to learn about the US, <laughs> go ahead and read it. Very cool perspective on from the daughter of Ch Thomas Jefferson, and they got a lot of the um, context from letters that she wrote to herself, journals, letters she wrote to her father, and then vice versa. And it's a very good depiction of her life back then, and it's just really, really cool. It also kind of builds in Hamilton, which I haven't, I have to admit shamelessly that I have never read, listened to, or watched Hamilton. And I, all of my friends are going to be, are very shamed. <laughs> I have not read that, but now I have a little bit more of an interest to go ahead and watch that or listen to it or watch it or whatever. Read it, I guess I should say. Ashley is sitting down here at my feet doing her read, read to self. You have one more page? Okay. Trying to instill in her read to self times and read to me times and me reading to you times. Yes. Yes. And we have the fire going. Doesn't that look cozy? For the first time this year, we've had our fire on, huh? It is freezing in the house. I had a whole red, like, on because it was so Because it's so warm right Oh, when you came in? They didn't wear coats outside today and it was like 55 degrees out there. It was cold. When the sun went down, it was super cold, I kiddo. I was gonna get a jacket. Chelsea had like numb hands. Cause I was, I thought we were gonna get You had shorts and a short sleeve shirt I on. I thought we were gonna jump on the trampoline. Do you have pants on right now or are you wearing what you had outside? Stand, stand up, show them what you wore outside and it was 55. <laughs> oh, I was cold, mom. I was so cold. Then put some clothes on. <laughs> you could have come home. Okay, re turn around. I distracted you. Turn around. Finish your time. I think Jason's hiding in our bedroom. <laughs> Each of us kind of takes the advantage of kind of escaping right at bedtime so that the other person does it, which is totally fine. I was escaping in my room for a little while, um, helping her work on her homework assignments and things like that, getting her caught up. But we are going to close out today. Didn't get much done today and sometimes that's okay. Like Jason and I were talking tonight when we were kind of driving around coming home from Target. He's like, what did we do today? Or do you want to go do something? Like we don't have to go home. Everyone's out playing with their friends. I was like, there's nothing to go do. <laughs> So, and there's no money to go do it with. We knew that kind of going into our day to day that there wasn't a huge amount of stuff to do. Jason and I actually laid in bed this morning until 10. I think we actually, we just used our phones to make sure that the kids were awake from their, from our echoes. We would just do the voice command and make sure they were awake. This actually slept in and woke up with 10 minutes to spare for her first Zoom call. And then as soon as they were awake and we could tell they had breakfast and got dressed and brushed their hair and teeth, we climbed back in bed <laughs> and laid in bed for their first one or two Zoom calls and it was kind of nice. Anyway, you guys, I'm babbling. I'm going to have some hot cocoa and snuggle up in front of this fireplace and have a quiet night. So do you want to say goodnight to everyone? You don't want to leave this fire now, huh? No. But you have to go brush your teeth? What else do you have to do? Get dressed. Get your pajamas on? 
I'm doing my screen. And how much screen time do you get tonight? Five. Well, gonna... ten all together. Ten all together. So how are you gonna do it? Five and ten. Five and ten is not ten. Oh, um. I make math problems out of her screen time. What do you do part way through your screen time? I do your hair. She brushes my hair. So she has to, she likes to go back up and have screen time, right? Yeah. So she splits up her ten minutes of screen time. Sometimes she'll do you have, tell them what ways you've done it in the past. I had like I had fifteen no, I had ten minutes and I split up to one minute and nine minutes. Uh-huh. And then how other ways? How many five other? and five. Five and five? Or, or what? Eight and eight and two. Eight and two we've yeah, done. Two. We did fifteen one night and so it's you did five and ten? Yeah, five and ten. So you're doing 10 minutes of screen time tonight, so it's no. 5 and 5. Say goodnight to everyone. Goodnight. Can you say it happier? Goodnight.